Okay, Shalom, part two. Rhythmos. But in the Hebrew, the word there is masafer. Masafer. Now, like sefer, like the book, masafer, which means the number, or to number, or to count. So you have sefer, which in one meaning means book, although remember there were no books when the word was born. Essentially, you had scrolls, and the scrolls were identified by their numbering. That is to say, you had a numbered writing. You had a numbered writing, like 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, etc. You had a numbered writing, and this numbering, so sefer in its feminine form means to count or to number. Well, if you're reading that in the Hebrew, it could mean to count, or it could mean a numbered book. It could mean a numbered book. But him who has understanding calculate the book of the beast, for it is the book of mankind, right? The, the word there would be Adam or Adam, not Ish. Adam, not Ish, man, or the book of mankind, right? And the book is identified as Bismillah. The book is identified as the serpent, as Christ, uh, etc. So, yes, in one interpretation, number is given. You could read Masafer as being number. Which case you could infer, well, this could be a number, and if, and if it is a number, is it 660 and 6? Now, in the modern alphabet, it wouldn't be. In the modern alphabet, your chi, let's see here if I can figure this out, your chi would be 400, and the omicron would be 60. But you, you're not looking for omicron, we're looking for chi C, and C would be 50, 450, and then uh, stigma, of course, doesn't appear because it's an obsolete letter, so it's not in the current Greek alphabet. So you'd have 450 something, 450 something, which is a number that's not relevant to anybody. Uh, so you see that we have a real interesting issue with this, this business of chi, C, stigma, the Greek letters that are seen there. Now, I think for purposes of our discussion here, too, that John actually saw this symbol. He saw it. He didn't just write it down. I think he saw it. And that becomes very, very important, too, because if he saw this symbol, now we have something that is a, a little bit, um, it's got more grist to it, because it, it probably does not appear in the Hebrew, unless these were letters that were supposed to be some kind of Hebrew markings. And I don't know how you get how would you get a Hebrew marking out of this. Um, I don't know how you get this. I mean, I don't know how that would possibly translate. I mean, maybe you could say that the that the Kai was an Aleph, and maybe the stigma was a Kof. You know, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can tell you that 660 and 6 does not equate at all. It does not equate at all, because 600 is men safi. And there is no Hebrew word that begins with a safi letter. It just doesn't exist. And uh, so, uh, you know, maybe you read it backwards, in, in which case, if you read it backwards, it would be Bab Samek Mem Safi. But even in that case, you know, Samek Mem does not appear as a meaningful Hebrew word, and very few words begin with the Vav. And if it is Vav and it means and, so that you have and Samek uh, Mem Safi, even that doesn't make sense. So you have some very great difficulties with that number. Now, if it is Sama, De Sama, well, sama means something else too, right? It means veil. So then he would say, and it is the number of a man, and his number is veiled. His number is veiled. Uh, possible. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities in this, but the point of this particular discussion is to raise awareness as to what's going on in Revelation 13, 18. We're cautioned in the book of Revelation not to change, not to substitute, not to guess, not to assume. And so in this particular passage, we did not guess, we did not assume, we did not change, we did not substitute. We gave you the Greek mark that it's likely that Yahukan, and that is to say John, saw when he was being given this kizeon, this revelation of Yahusha HaMashiach. Very important point. So with that being said, uh, please continue in your studies on this and let's share this for some discussion to see how this goes. Okay, thank you very much.
This is Stephen Benjamin with the Sector Publishing Group saying please join us next time. Thank you.